the NBA, the only place where tall people aren't asked if they play basketball. Now, NBA players are used to taking charges, but usually from other players. This time, it's from the FBI. Breaking news, 18 former NBA players are charged with trying to defraud the league's health and welfare benefit plan out of nearly $4 million. Ex-Nets player Terrence Williams, ex-Knicks player Shannon Brown, Ronald Glenn Davis, and 15 other former players were indicted for conspiracy to commit health fraud and wire fraud. They're accused of submitting claims for medical and dental services they were never done. The ex-players got about $2.5 million. Okay, look, look, I know a lot of people are shocked by this, but guys, why are we surprised? Pretending to be hurt is a huge part of playing in the NBA. Which, by the way, I'm all for. I think men shouldn't be afraid to express when they're hurt. And once you retire, you gotta make money somehow. I mean, what's more dishonest? Stealing money from the health fund or Shaq claiming that Papa John's is good pizza? This is all fraud. We're all friends here, but hey, Getting caught is bad news for these players. And it's gonna be great news for whatever jail is about to get the best prison basketball team of all time. Can you imagine having these guys play? Hell no! I'm, I'm not guarding Big Baby Davis! That guy's huge! I might be a murderer, but I'm not crazy! But let's move on to a story about the mafia. You know, the guys who know a guy if you need a guy for that. The mob has been an American institution since the 19th century, but now, it's in the hands of millennials. And it turns out that just like mailing a letter or dressing up for work, they're not very good at it. Organized crime in New York is less organized than it used to be. Mob investigators say many of the clans are being fundamentally mismanaged nowadays. There's a common thought among the old guard of mobsters that the millennial generation hasn't properly learned the ropes. Also, something that the old guard says is that the younger mobsters are always texting, which makes it so much easier for them to get caught. Okay, okay, fair criticism. You know, I understand that texting makes it way easier to get caught doing crimes, but here's my question. As a millennial, I would like to know, what else are we supposed to do, huh? Talk on the phone? Yo, I'll take life in prison over that shit any day. If you ask me the real problem here, with the mobsters texting is not getting caught, it's getting your point across. Because threatening to beat someone to death isn't as terrifying when it's done in a series of emojis. And obviously this isn't just a mafia thing. Every workplace is dealing with this kind of boomer versus millennial culture clash. You know, I bet even in the vampire community, you have older vampires mad at the younger ones. Lazarus, I've told you a thousand times, do not write blood on your Venmos. And finally, data breaches. They're a part of everyday life, from credit card companies, to government agencies, to Steve. I told you my pin in confidence, Steve. But today, it's video gamers who are getting owned. The popular game streaming platform Twitch is the latest online victim of a hack attack. Several tech media outlets say the company, which is owned by Amazon, confirmed an anonymous individual posted a 125 gigabyte file containing Twitch's data. The reports say the platform's source code was leaked along with how much top streamers on the service get paid. So far, no user data was leaked. Twitch says it's working on the problem. That's right, tons of data on the video gaming site Twitch was hacked. Although when you see what was actually leaked, I think this could have been way worse. You know, let's all be grateful that we didn't see any of Bowser's dick pics. I'm curious now though, do you think the carpet matches the shell? But there was some eye-opening stuff in that leak. We learned just how much some of these Twitch gamers make, up to $9 million. Yeah, and that's gonna add insult to injury, knowing that the guy who teabagged you last night in Call of Duty was doing it from a private jet. Oh, and in case you're wondering who the highest earning gamers are, topping the list was a gaming group, Critical Role. And at the bottom of the list, once again, was Chuck Schumer playing Snake on an old Nokia. 